For me, coarse angling's just a way of life. I've fished for four decades now and been world champion four times. Add the honour of an MBE and what more could anyone ask? Another day's fishing, of course. My name is Bob Nudd and it's time to take rods to roads. And in this series, I'm going to focus mostly on still waters as commercial fisheries become more readily available for anglers across the country. But we'll also venture onto the River Severn for a session on fast moving waters. Meanwhile, where still waters run deep, we'll fish for bream, carp, roach, rudd and tench. To start with though, let's see if we can catch some crucians. And this lake is called the Crucian and Tench Lake. So I stand a good chance of catching Crucian carp today. That's really all that's in here, Crucian carp and Tench. A few off, but mainly Crucians. If you look out at the water, you see that the middle of the lake is covered in lilies. This is a fairly shallow area. That's, that's why they're growing there, because it's shallow. It's a, probably less than a metre deep there. And then all round the edge, it's the deep water, this has been scoured out, particularly made like this. And as it's early autumn, water temperatures are dropping, the fish will move into this deeper water. It's a bit cooler now. In fact, if I, it, it, it sort of goes straight down to about probably six foot deep there. If I was to drop off the edge here, all you'd see is my hat, nothing else left, so I won't do that. But that's the area that I will target. I will look to fish just on the area where the, where the bottom levels out. Just at the, as, as the slope goes down, the bottom levels out. This is a natural area for the fish to patrol. So I'm going to feed there and fish. I've got a secret bait to fish with today. I'm going to use this secret bait to catch these beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's go and get my gear. The wind's got up a little bit since I started to set my gear up. Also, there's a few clouds coming over and covering the sun. It's a little bit colder, but I think there'll be plenty of action. And what I did was plumb the depth, find out that area where the lake is at its deepest, just the point where the, where the shelf goes down, and I cupped in just one ball of bait there. I've gone over the top with my hook bait and and lots of signs, little movements, that there's fish there. But they're very, very finicky, little touches, little movements. Oh, I ne nearly struck at that one. It just went down, come back up again. There it goes. Because of the water temperature, a little bit low, they're, they're, they're cautious. The fish are not eager yet. Usually with fishing, you feed, the fish have to get on the feed, overcome their fear, and then you can catch them. And there's little signs all the time that there's fish there. See that? The float just went down, come back up again straight away. Then what I do is just lift and I'll drop that, I'll drop that bait back in again. It falls over that, that baited area. I've picked a marker from the lily beds so that I know I'm fishing to exactly the same place each time. And then my bait is coming back onto this shelf. I'm fishing full depth, just probably about that much over depth, only just very, very slightly, so the bait is just resting on the bottom. Not too much, because these crucians, ah, oh, Mr. Bite, how could I do that? These crucians are so finicky when they take. Everything needs to be exact and precise. I'll come back to my bait secret later. Can you see what I'm using? Not fishing very far out, only about four meters. 
And every time you go in, there's little signs that the float's moving. I know there's fish there. I'm trying to pull this bait back towards me. Look at that, see it? Just gone down, didn't take it. Oh, they're crafty. These crucians are crafty. Well, this is my first fish, but I don't know what it is. Definitely, if it's a crucian, it's a really big one. Oh, just shot off. Got fairly light elastic on there, a number eight, so oh, I need some longer arms to hang on to it. Somebody must have slipped a big fish in this lake, I think. <laughs> Just look at that elastic, it's really stretched. If this is a crucian carp, it's a record. But it took that secret bait. Float shot under. Oh, this is a fantastic, this is. Can't be a crucian carp, what is it? I had it on very good advice that there was only crucian carp and tench in this lake. Oh well, perhaps, perhaps I'm wrong. And it is a big crucian, but that is really fighting. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Just trying to get it under control and getting its head up and keeping it out of those bed of lilies over there. It is, yeah, it is. Oh, well, that is. No, it's not. I didn't think. I thought, crucian carp, how can they fight like that? Took a glimpse of it then, it looks, it looks like a common carp. Looks like a normal common. And of course I've got fairly light equipment, fairly light elastic and not, not meant for handling these. Yeah, it is, it's a common. First glimpse you'd think it was a crucian, but it isn't. No, it's a thin. Big fish though. Look at that. Just just hooked in the side in the scissors of the mouth, but that it's a slim, hard fighting common carp. Great start. Gonna get a crucian there. While I'm working out how to encourage the crucians to feed. What of this lovely water? This is Holgham Farm near Narberth in southwest Wales, and it's been lovingly created and nurtured by my old pal, another world champion, Ian Eaps. He's developed a wonderful complex of three lakes here, offering high quality pleasure and match fishing in a great location next to the eastern Clethi River, which feeds the waters of Holgham Farm. Apart from the lake I'm fishing on, there's a carp lake where the largest recorded fish caught weighed in at 28 pounds and a dedicated match lake. And all to be found tucked away in the county of Pembrokeshire on the edge of the Pembrokeshire Coast National Park, an area of outstanding natural beauty, rich in Welsh legends, ancient castles and glorious landscapes. This is the perfect setting for pleasure fishing. <coughs> Meanwhile, back at my peg, trying to find a crucian carp. After that last big fish, this one feels like a crucian. Not changed anything, still fishing with the same secret bait. But crucian, you can usually tell, I usually dive, lift and dive. The weather's really changeable today. Clouds, more wind, but still, Still very pleasant. Now oh, this is a crucian. Oh, it's a lovely, perfect, perfect. <laughs> a crucian carp. Good size fish too. They don't, if you caught a two pound crucian, that would be a big, big fish. This one is, oh, what, pound and a half, I think, but a lovely fish. Perfectly lip hooked. There. This is the main fish that I've come for today. Crucian carp. In lovely, lovely condition. Let's have a look at that dorsal. There. Beautiful. Solid muscle, but normally a summer fish. 
but I'm catching plenty today. Put it straight back. Catch and release and then there's no harm to the fish at all. And that will feed again. Very, probably not today, but it will feed again very quickly. <laughs> I'm in again. At least the fish are feeding today. Mm, when the sun's out, it's lovely and warm. It's really nice. Yeah, definitely another, another crucian. Oh, it's my. My old fishing friend and fishery owner, he owns this fishery, Ian Heaps. So I better not lose this fish. I'll never hear the last of it. I'm in South Wales fishing for Crucian carp. One's on the line, but here comes the fishery owner. Well, look at that. Hello, Ian. How are you? Good to see have you. You got a fish on there, Bob? Yeah, I have. I'm terrified I'm going to lose it. You better not. Ian, you've got a fantastic fishery here. It really is nice. Lovely, good quality fish, and, and lots of them as well. Lots of Thanks action. Thanks very much, Bob. No, it's really good. Yeah, we're quite proud of it. They take some. You crucians? Yeah, crucians, but they take, you know, they, they need a fair bit of feed. I, I keep. Oh, this is another Aren't one. They Perfect fish. example, yeah. A few carp in here as well, Bob. The yeah. old ones, yeah. I had, I, yeah, I've had an odd one earlier on, but these these are what I'm after today. Yeah, crucian yeah, carp, and look at that beautiful fish. Perfect. And they're a good size, aren't they? Oh, that's over a pound, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Looked just hooked. Look in that in that corner. So exactly there. how you want them. Yeah. Super. Gorgeous fish. Now you're not going to scare my fish. Now I'm bagging, are you? I'll Go tell on, you what. Clear off and leave <laughs> me right, leave me I'm alone going. and let you me en you enjoy it. <laughs> let me catch some fish. Thanks, Ian. See you later. Didn't even get a cup of tea out of him. Can you believe that? Although, tea's not so bad, but it's much harder getting a pint of beer out of him, I can tell you. Still, his fishery is brilliant. And every time I go in there, there's a bite. Always a, a sign that fish are there. Not taking it madly, but that you can tell that as soon. Oh, <laughs> oh, this really is fantastic fishing. Now I've got rid of Ian. He was scaring them a bit. They are now all what I wanted, these lovely crucians. And guess what I'm catching them on? Guess what I'm catching on? Just the humble loaf. Sliced white bread. That's liquidised. I put it in a liquidiser, liquidise it up so it. So it sort of just floats in the water, but the fish, this is what they're feeding on. And then a slice of bread with punched holes there, just we call it punch bread. So it's, it's the same as the bait I'm putting in, just a, a nice cloud of white bread. And then this, it's irresistible to the fish, this lovely soft punch. Yeah, another big, another big crucian. Another, they are lovely fish. These are really big fish too here. And the hook's dropped out of it, just in the net. The hook just, I don't even have to unhook that. Just take that hook. He left the hook in the net. They often do that. Perfect example, just over a pound. Hard fighting. Very, very fickle feeding fish. They love to feed, they love to they just suck that bread in. They love to feed on it. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Now you know my secret. I'm using a fine wire 18 hook. Fairly fine because the fish are not big. Crucians are not big fish and keep the hooks as light as possible. And just above the hook I've got a small shot, four inches above. And then eight inches above that I've, I've got the knot for the hook length. The hook length is two pound breaking strain. I've got a knot there, and above that I've got a three pound main line. So three pound heavier line, just in case. If I did hook a big fish that perhaps would break me, they would only take the hook length. 
and a small shot just above that knot. A little bit further, another small shot, a number nine, and then a bunch of them together. If you have a look there, I've got four of them bunched together. That's probably about mid-depth, somewhere like that. Up to the float, which is 0.4 of a gram. It's six foot deep on fishing, so you need a bit of weight. If the float's too light, the bait just doesn't get down. But it's got a nice carbon stem, a fairly big bristle that you can see, a good visible bristle that you can see quite easily. And then about 18 inches from there to the connector on the elastic, and then a number eight elastic. That's, that's just to cushion the strike, and you'd be amazed the size of fish you can get on. If, even if I hooked an eight pound carp, with this elastic, you can still get it out. Elastic just helps you play the fish. Time to go out and get another one. Fish are there now, really are. They've been a little bit more aggressive with the feeding. I think it's, it's also when you start off, it, it's, it's quiet, and then you feed a bit, feed a bit, and more and more fish, they're starting to top and swirl and come round, and they're all, they're all these lovely crucians. Really is, but they're such, such careful feeders. But lovely to catch, really are. They're an incredible fish. Oh, beautiful. All these are around about a pound each, I should think. Look at that. Perfect condition, he really does look after his fish. And that one, have a look at that hook. It's just, they are hard. Do you know what I said? They're careful feeders. Can you see that hook? Just through a tiny bit of the fish's skin. Incredible. But because the elastic is number eight, fairly soft, I didn't pull out of it. I landed the fish. But they're there now on the feed, lots of them. Straight back in and get another one. So where else can you fish for crucian carp? It's really a wonderful species to target, but it will always be a challenge. This isn't because crucians are particularly rare, they are widespread throughout the country, but you won't find them in big volumes anywhere. And if you want to catch them, you'll have to work on developing your technique to successfully bring them to the bank. And the thing to remember is that crucians will always prefer soft baits like pellets and bread, while maggots and casters will also be very much to their taste. Basically, crucians can be found in many waters. Waters like Barford in Norfolk have been known to produce excellent crucians. And it's also been rumoured that Larford Lakes in Worcestershire holds what would probably be British record sized crucians. Anglers of all levels can enjoy hours of pleasure catching crucians wherever they may happen to be casting out. Let me show you how I'm feeding today. It's quite simple, just a small ball, probably not much bigger than a walnut. Just squeeze it. This liquidised bread, you don't need to add anything to it, it's the moisture of the bread. And then in a pole cup, just so that it's really, really accurate. Just propping the ball in. I've picked a marker that I'm fishing to all the time so that the bait goes in the same position every time. And I'm holding the pole in the, exactly the right position. I'm just tucking that, my arm level with the end as I'd be if I was fishing. And you're just dropping that ball in. It sort of, it will hang suspended for a minute. Look at that. And then drops away. And there's one or two bits of flakes come off of the bait. That's what attracts the fish in, and then they go down on that ball of bread. Seem to be loads of fish here. I don't know what this one is. Crucian carp, perhaps. Not a big fish, this, though, I don't think. Elastic to doing its job, but got quite powerful gear on. Ah, oh, yeah. Lovely. There. That is a lovely fish. 
hook just inside the mouth. Just get that out. Leave my disgorger on that one. And there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Really is loads of fish today. Just feeding all the time, getting the fish there. And the bite is almost instant. As soon as you go in, they take it. Don't really want to pack up, but I think I'll have to after this one. Just caught so many fish. Really fighting well. Trying to when I'm playing the fish, I'm just trying to keep it up a little bit. Ooh, just got a glimpse of it there. Just, oh. These are really one of the most difficult fish to catch, crucian carp. Just so, so hard to catch them. Just, oh, get that hook out. Ooh, solid muscle. Just hold it gently. They try and flick, you know. Crucian Carl, how do you catch him? You just use your loaf. Mm -hmm.